Oh man, Allie has a Kiki's delivery service tattoo. Mm hmm. That's awesome. That's... I wanted a tattoo of a witch, and I got a tattoo of a witch, and then I was like, I can just make a Kiki. <laughs> as well. That's so cool. That's a great movie. <laughs> that is a super great low impact movie. Yeah, it's just a little slice of life. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah. So, the next Ghibli movie might be kind of gay. I'm really, oh, really hoping that it is. Yeah, apparently it's like, it's this weird like friendship, maybe ghost story between Ooh. two girls who like meet and they like have to keep their friendship a secret and then they have to like split up in some sort of way. Oh. I don't know, the, there's only been one trailer that it's pretty dramatic, but um, oh, that sounds good. Um, they say like, they say they love each other sort of in the, the trailer. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> these yeah, are two young the girls in a Ghibli movie. Yeah, yeah. So I think that there might be like an actual like lesbian relationship in a Ghibli movie, and I'm so cool. excited for it. <laughs> and he said, it's hard to recognize that John Cena is in Psych because you can't see him. Uh. <laughs> I'm glad that uh. that's a popular wrestling joke to make because it's the only one I'll get. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, why can't I leave? I want to get on my bike. Okay. <laughs> that's a sweet, uh, like Ghostbusters hearse style ambulance. Yeah. That game was just counting, uh, though. Um, I think this is the last one, and then we can go to how things work, which I think is a little more gamey. Versus mini gamey, okay. But I can't remember. I don't remember this game at all. Yo, it's a song. We get a song every new place we go to, which is pretty cool. It's kind of legit. Allie, what's your busy town background? I um. I definitely recognize all of these characters, but I think from like the books that they were in. Yeah, yeah. They were definitely in a cartoon. They had to be. Yep. Yeah, it was on Nick Jr. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. But I don't think I've ever played this game. Okay. I um, I definitely played a ton of Freddy Fish. Yes. And some of the other games that you were mentioning before. <laughs> Oh, I do remember this game now. Oh, this is a good one. I like this because you make like a a Rube Goldberg kind of machine. Yeah. Okay. It's Soltron is saying that. Wait, no. Was it Soltron? Sorry. Who's talking about chocolate milk seer? Seer. Yeah. This is the chocolate milk uh, one. Okay. Um. Yeah. Sorry, I was distracted by my cat trying to eat a electrical cable. Oh no! <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Nick, didn't you have um you had a cute story I forget what stream you told it on, but you had a cute story about you being little and wanting the book read to you. I don't want to spoil wanting it. What? When you were little, you would ask your parents to read you the somebody I think this oh, was the Nick. scary books. Was yeah, that you? Yeah. And Nick, you're too scared until right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called scary. Yeah, you should tell I, it. Sorry. I loved the books, and I always wanted my parents to read them to me. But at the same time, I, I like every single time, I thought they were going to be scary for some reason because the guy's name was <laughs> <super> scary. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, so my my parents would say, "You wanna you wanna read the Richard Scary book?" And I say, "No, it's scary." <laughs> and then. <laughs> Baby and then they 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 just start reading it to me, or they tell me yeah. it was a different book, and then I I'd, I'd remember it and I'd love it every time. <laughs> uh, but uh, man, how did I even put up with that? <laughs> <laughs> when you started the story, I thought you meant like the scary stories for kids books, <gasps> with those like terrifying yes. uh, illustrations. Oh. That book was too real to be in elementary school libraries. Yeah, that book that was scary. That shit was so intense. And was you terrifying in, like, a major way. They, um, they reprinted them oh, with, without those about. pictures. Um, 
And I feel like that was kind of the fun as a little kid to like turn the page and be freaked out by the next picture. Um, who wrote the Alan somebody, but I can't remember who did the pictures. Yeah, I because those I were remember freaky. There being like a lot of um, like pushback when they were going to re-release them without the pictures. I think they had um, like another illustrator do them. Yeah, which I guess is cool for that guy. Um, but yeah, the the images really make it. I'm trying to look it up for you, Keith. Um, I'm gonna switch the game to how things okay. work. Um, I don't think we'll lose. We'll just go black for a second here. Yeah, the series is uh, scary stories to tell in the dark, and I oh, tweeted I a picture that. of all of the. Um, the yeah. covers of the books that are fucking terrible. Oh, I have one of those. I have one of those. <laughs> They're so scary. Uh, um, that first one. That that, that is was fucked so up. Unnecessary. When I picture, whenever anyone mentions those, I picture that girl with the the holes for eyes and the real dark hair. That's what I. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I never read scary stories. I was too. I, I started reading Stephen King books in like seventh grade, and but before that I couldn't I couldn't read anything because Stephen King books are scary in a way that scary stories aren't. Mm -hmm. Or I guess Stephen yeah. King books are not scary in a way that scary stories are. Like uh, yeah. like for for whatever reason these these stories will have a thing where like when I'm trying to go to bed I'll be thinking about the stories but I will never do that with a Stephen King book. I don't know what the difference is. Um, Nope. But like, yeah, I can't. I can't handle that sort of thing at all. I am. Um, I'm into. I think oh, those sorry. were like. I think those were like some of the scary. When I was a kid, I was a super wiener. Uh, I mean, I, <laughs> I'm still. I'm still mostly a wiener, but then I was a super wiener. Oh. Uh, and like, I was such a wiener. I was convinced that. Beetlejuice was a scary movie and refused to watch it. Oh, baby. Uh, <laughs> there are creepy things in that, in your defense. <laughs> and, uh, so, but, like, those scary storybooks, I don't remember, like, I think I got them from a book fair? Yeah. Oh, or boy. something? I don't, re I don't even remember why I had them, because they would never, ever in a million years be the first, like, a thing that I would have bought when I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. Um... But I think those are the first, like, scary thing I ever really, like, was, uh, you know, ever really read or experienced or whatever. Like, scary story stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I actually really love scary stuff. And very, <laughs> like, specifically, I really love scary story type stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, like, and I know exactly what you're saying, Keith, with the... Uh, um, like scary story versus um, actual horror. Yeah, uh, like the scary stories, like ghost stories, all that kind of stuff is my favorite kind of horror stuff. I still can't handle it. Can't watch horror movies. Can't do anything. I'm a baby. <laughs> I'm the exact opposite. Where like scary things is so much of like a culture in my family uh -huh. where like my brother was born really close to Halloween and my mom is also really into like horror movies and like supernatural stuff that like I was always like around it uh -huh. mm -hmm. which is why I've grown up to be such like a spooky person as well I guess <laughs> but like I watched The Thing when I was like six and I absolutely freaked out. Oh my but god, six? For some reason, everyone in my life thought it was okay that I would fucking see that. Oh my god, um, I, I watched that the the like this this <laughs> year, and I got a little freaked out <laughs> like that movie. Um, I love '80s Kurt Russell though. That got me through. Yeah. <laughs> I love any era John Carpenter. Yeah, um, John Carpenter's really good. My uh, my desktop background is, is one of my favorite movies ever. Think Pliskin. Which one? Big Trouble in Little China. That's I need to see that um, because I really like good. Kurt Russell and John Carpenter. So and that's my last one I think with them together. So 
Okay. Also one of the best titled movies of all time. <laughs> Great title. That and What's Eating Gilbert Grape. <laughs> Did right. you guys ever read any Goosebump stuff? Yes. Okay, I have a goose. I have a goose had to story. Read totally. Okay. This is this is what this is what probably I don't know if I was a if, I don't know if I was a baby before this or this is what made me a baby. Um, my dad, when I was seven or eight, my dad made me watch a Goosebumps like like movie. Yeah. Um, about vampires in a vampire town, and this normal family moves into the vampire town, and everyone's a vampire, mm-hmm. and like eventually, and like you know this straight up like from the get go. And then they slowly realize it, and they have to try to escape the town. And they escape the town, and everything's cool. And then the last shot is, oh no, they're dogs of vampire. What? And then, that, like, then I've, I, since I saw that, I've never not been scared. I'm still scared. <laughs> oh, Keith. Yeah. Um. What? I hate. I said, what? I said, I don't want to watch this, and I, I knew that I didn't want to watch it. <laughs> Why I he make you watch it. What's that? Like, was he trying to, like, toughen you up or something? I don't know. My dad's a fucking monster. He's a bad person. (laughs) I hate watching scary movies by myself. What's that? What, Allie? 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 Uh, Allie? I said everyone's still just discussing anime. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Typical. Um, but no, my um, one Goosebumps thing is they had like a choose your own adventure book. Uh huh. Where, um, and it was like you were a guy who turned into a bug and it was like really spooky, but you had to like interact with people and not let them know that you would like turn into a bug. Wait, so this and is like I... a, this is Goof, Goosebumps Kafka. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and there was this one scene where, like, you're going to the mall with a girl you really like, and you're in, like, a pet store, and you go by, like, the, uh, where they sell the bugs and stuff. Or, like, I think you turn into a reptile and you wanted to eat bugs. Actually, oh. <laughs> yeah. And, like, I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to go with this girl, and she wants to go to the pet store. Sure, I'll go with her. There's not going to be a problem. <laughs> um, and that, like, ended the book, because I ate a bunch of bugs, and, like, she found out. And, like, <laughs> little me was so upset about it. And for some reason, I didn't just, like, go back to the last page and, like, continue on with my journey. Just, just I was just really disappointed that I had gotten that ending for a really long time. Um, (laughs) uh, I just so I just remembered something before I saw that movie that vampire movie I used to I I used to read Goosebumps stuff like all the time and then I never did anymore ever oh that was my last Goosebump (laughs) the the Goosebump um, book I remember go ahead I was gonna ask him if um, are you afraid of the dark was a thing when you were growing yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Yep. I, I couldn't watch that either. I was yeah. not allowed to watch that one either. <laughs> I, was al- I was allowed to, but I never did because why would <clears throat> I do that to myself? <laughs> yeah, my mom didn't want me and my sister to get nightmares, so she was like, you can't watch that one. <laughs> and then I watched it later, and I got real creeped out. I was like, mom was probably right. <laughs> the Goosebumps book I remember was... Um, it had a big pink blob on it, and it was just eating everything. I don't remember anything else, really. I also remember <laughs> one where... I used to try I used to try to watch Are You Afraid of the Dark? And uh-huh. I would get through the intro, and then maybe like a minute or two of the thing, and then mm-hmm. I would just be like, nope, I'm out. And then <laughs> watch something totally oh. different. Um... I also remember one where anything the kid wrote came true. It might have been the same Goosebumps book, but he he would write about something and then it would happen in the town. So it just started to become super scary. Is it, uh, so I, I read, um, my, my little brother read Goosebumps. I think he had all of them. Uh, and, uh, I would read them because I was a dick to my younger brother uh, and I would read them just to just so I could read them and tell him how dumb they were. So Nick, you were both a leader and a dick? 
yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, if you ever see this, I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, you're so mean to Carl. Yeah. Let's get I mean, Carl on here. <laughs> we're, we're pretty good friends now, uh, but yeah, well, I mean, we had a we had a sibling rivalry going up. Like it, mm. it went both ways. Uh, <laughs> Lumberjack Fernando says, "My tastes were so shit that Dragon Ball Z was massively transformative to me with its depth and subtlety." Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Um, like I would, I would read the books and just so I could come back at, my, at at Carl and say, "Well, that wasn't scary. That was dumb." And the only thing I remember about the Goosebumps books was that it seemed to me like every other book was uh, someone buys a thing at a mysterious shop that <laughs> turns their life upside down, and then the next day the shop is gone. Yeah. <laughs> I Wait, are you talking right about are you talking about Sailor Moon right now? So what we've been doing uh, yeah, is be okay. What we've been doing is picking up the garbage, and then we see something else that's going wrong, and we call that service to go fix it. Because we're good citizens. What's up with the lawnmower? Or are we about to... Um, which... Oh. Um, was... We just called the chimney care. guy. <laughs> so I guess Busy I Town... Em... Like a lawnmower. <laughs> I guess Busy Town employs actual chimney sweeps still. I don't... <laughs> Is that... <laughs> um... Yeah, I think that the one I'm thinking of, the, the kid bought a typewriter... And then the typewriter bought, brought the things to life that he was talking about. And I like how Goosebumps was always like, in the last chapter it would twist it around, so even when you thought it was okay, it wasn't okay. <laughs> uh, wait, so it was a typewriter? So, so that sounds like that sounds like four different Stephen King books that I've read. <laughs> A dude who writes it, he has, I think he has two books where a person who's a writer writes stuff and that ha and then the stuff that he writes happens. And then he has one book where they, it's that same thing, but like it's a meta plot. And yeah. And there's another one where it's the same thing, but a painter and what he paints happens. I feel like I find this, I think I read that painter one or maybe. That, that one was called Duma Key. Oh no, then I haven't. I read, I read one about a haunted painting that this guy picked up at a yard sale and it haunted him, and, and he tried to he sell went it. Back the next day, the yard sale was. Gone. <laughs> well, <it's... laughs> I feel like that would happen at any yard sale, but yeah, like the whole house is gone. There's a for sale sign yeah, on it. The yard sale, yeah, for the yard sale said Friday to Sunday, <laughs> but it's Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, the 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 main one, the basically the Stephen King book that is literally Alan Wake. Uh, is is called Dark Seed, I think. Um, and that book is just what Alan Wake is. Um, but yeah, Stephen King oh. has some really good books, and then some really bad books, and then a bunch of books that are okay. Uh, I, I just like realized able... while I was gone that uh, I'm sorry, Allie. I keep stepping all over you. No, it's okay. <laughs> Nick, stop you stomping on Allie. <laughs> You're not even in the same state that. as her. <laughs> no. But where are you, Nick? You're like way too far away to be stopping up. <laughs> anyway, what I was going to say is that I feel like being able to draw something and have it exist is actually the best power. Like, that shouldn't be a scary book at all. Because like, you could just draw yourself um, a dog, well, you draw yourself it's, a burger, it's, but it's not, you could it's, draw yourself a car. <laughs> I, I think that uh, I think that he like he didn't know that it was happening. It just was happening, mm. and he was painting like fucked up shit. And then it started like being real. I can't. It was hard. It was like uh, several years ago that I read it. But oh, we have to I, I, yeah. we have to make dough before we can bake stuff at the bakery. 
Because that's how well, this works, really right? Yeah. Too, that was also the plot. That little girl that was drawing stuff and it was happening. Oh yeah, that is a good episode. Oh yeah. What? What is that anime that uh, is about a guy that travels around the world and studies these like weird uh, little spirit creatures? That's oh no, I thought you were talking oh. about the, <laughs> the guy who travels the world and just eats stuff because that show is actually really good. Oh. <laughs> No, uh, Mushishi is the one I was talking about. Oh, I haven't seen that one. It's it's really good. Also, the first episode features a kid that draws stuff and they come to life. Every time oh, I think Dark of like... Half, not Dark Seed. Dark Seed is a bad game. Dark Seed is a bad 90s video game. Dark <laughs> Half is what I was talking about. Yeah, uh, uh, Vortor and Bloodfist got me in chat. Mushishi. Yeah. That's a good show. Every time I think of anime and writing something down and it coming to life, I just immediately go Death Note. That's just my immediate path that my mind takes. <laughs> No way. I oh shit, Andy says a second season of Mushishi came out? Oh damn. Um, so, Kyle and I have been playing the, the and, and Jordan Mallory have been playing the Mist game mm -hmm. on our channel, and someone tweeted at us saying, uh, are there any plans to look at Pissed, the Mist parody featuring John Goodman? <laughs> and I thought that was a dumb joke, but that's a real thing. Yep, that is a real yep. thing. <laughs> That's a real you should definitely crazy. check that out. Yeah, you should get. You this guys should play that. Game published in October 1996. It was created as a parody of the highly successful adventure game Mist. Uh, uh, the parody features full motion video of actor John Goodman as King Mattress, ruler of Pissed Island. <laughs> oh my god. This sounds terrible. Sounds so bad. <laughs> You might as well just play Crypt Worlds. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't like Crypt Worlds. Don't tell anybody. What? Keep, keep, hang up. Nick, can you kick Keith off? Too, it was He's not allowed on the shit anywhere. I will tell Phil that he it didn't was, like Some Crypt of it was cool. Some of it was cool, but it was too weird. Keith, it was very weird. It was weird, but it wasn't also Keith, fun. Keith, it was just Keith, interesting. Keith, what? Keith, you're not a stream friend, and you don't like Crypt Worlds. And Crypt Worlds is like such an important part of the stream friend's lore. Get out of here. It, it really Sorry. is. Get out of here. I don't even know what Crypt Worlds no, is. <laughs> I need to find those archives, I guess. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh. I don't know, I'm sure if I played like Crypt Worlds on my own, I would have been just like, what the fuck is this? And played five minutes of it. But the streams that we did of it were really good. And then like, once you realize that there's like, an actual game happening, and there's like a lot of shit going on, mm -hmm. it's really good. Oh my god, there's a second season of Mushishi. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I'm going to watch the whole first season again. Because it's been years. And I'm going to watch that season two. Oh, you just made my <laughs> night. You just made my week, Andy. Thank you so much. <laughs> this has been a long run around. Every time I want to do something, they're like, oh, we need this first. <laughs> like, I went to the bakery and I wanted to make pretzels. And they said, we, you need dough. So then I went to the mill and we didn't have any stuff to make dough with. So now we're going to plant stuff, I think. <laughs> Man, we are making pretzels from scratch. <laughs> like, super scratch. Like, we need to plant the wheat that we're going to make pretzels with. Well, How, how far, I mean, are, are we going to have to, like, <laughs> create the Big Bang eventually? <laughs> like, how far back is this going to go? I don't know. I like this goat. 
<laughs> I'm giggling because I just shouted in chat, we're talking about Gundam, and then Austin immediately came in and was like, oh, wait, we're talking about Gundam. <laughs> Austin, where did you come from? <laughs> Because I'm gonna have a summer of Gundam. So, Nobody's sorry, talking Keith. about Zoids, Keith. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Keith. Zoids? Nobody's ever talking about Zoids. Zoids sounds like a candy. Yeah, he... It does, kind of. Where is. Is Keith even Should on the call he... anymore? <laughs> did he hang up? Oh my god, did he hang up because I yelled at him? No. He's still on. He's still part of the chat. I think. Keith! Keith! <laughs> No, I would say if he left. Yeah, if his picture's still there. Show. He's also not a stream friend, though. Like, really. He's a friend of the stream friends. He is, but... We're always like, hey, we're gonna stream right now, it's a stream friend thing. And then he's like, yeah, I'll come too. And it happens all the time. He this says... is a bit, by the way, me. <laughs> <laughs> note, note to you, too. <laughs> We love Keith. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, someone's gonna come and be like, what the fuck is wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> Keith loves Keith. <laughs> Keith's in the chat saying, no, Allie kicked me off because she hates me. She's so mean to me. <laughs> Keith, get back here. <laughs> That's not even, you can't, you can't even kick people from a Skype. Yeah, you can. I know. <laughs> I would've if I could, but I didn't. <laughs> Still a bit. <laughs> Look at that cute little ant. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Keith. Hi. A song. <laughs> Keith, you're back. Yay. Yay, Keith. Hi. Yeah, I'm back. You know. Hey, Keith. <laughs> What? Oh, Keith! Keith, what's your favorite Zoid? I like, um, <laughs> Shadow Fox and Command Wolf, and then cool. Liger Zero Basic. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about him. <sighs> Shadow Fox is cool because he's like a big fox. <laughs> he jumps around when he's got guns. He shoots at other zoids. And then uh, I feel like some of the other, some of the non-basic Liger Zeros get a little bulky, and they look kind of, they look kind of too busy. So I like just the basic Liger Zero. Um, when I was a kid, I really liked Zeke, and I'm not a huge fan of Zeke anymore, even though he's still a pretty cute dinosaur. Box of Hamster says, okay, so hold on, I just realized I have no idea what this game is about. This is, uh, edutainment. <laughs> <laughs> this is an edutainment game from the 90s that I played a lot as a kid, um, based on Richard Scarry's Busy Town books and the TV show that was on Nick Jr. And right now we're building a helicopter so we can water our crops. <laughs> Morse says, how's building a helicopter related to eating a pretzel? We've been on a journey. <laughs> Oh, um, and we're a helicopter ant right now, which is pretty cool. And Keith loves Lily Worm. In the, bunch of people in the chat saying that Zoids is cool, so you guys all suck. So I never said anything chat, about Zoids. I didn't say anything about Everyone, Zoids. <laughs> you all said, you all went, listen, not maybe not when we're streaming, but when we're off, basically three <laughs> times a day I get a message from uh, from various stream friends, I won't name any names, saying, Keith, you're stupid, Zoids is dumb, everything you like is dumb. <laughs> I hope that, listen, if you choked, I wouldn't be sad. It's <laughs> like, it's really... <laughs> like, when we're streaming, it's a safe place, but it's... Sometimes it's just brutal. It's not... It's, you know, you know how some... Like, it's not a doggy dog world. It's a dog kick Keith when he's down world. <laughs> and you guys are the dogs. <laughs> and this is... Al Allie will come at you, she'll say, like, no, it's just a joke, it's just a bit. Like, no, it's not a bit. This isn't a bit. Someone help me. <laughs> no, this is a bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a bit. <laughs> no, 
now they're never gonna know. <laughs> What? If they if they knew it wouldn't be as funny. <laughs> I I have the That's most right. confused smile frown on my face. <laughs> Are you also wondering right. why we have a <laughs> a weird water helicopter? Oh, a sweet water copter. <laughs> No, I, th it makes sense. We gotta build a helicopter to water crops, and we gotta grow the crops to make flour for the dough for the pretzels. I mean, it. <laughs> Listen, there's a lot of pretzels you can get. You can get pretzels anywhere. I'm just. I had pretzels had today. Pretzels soft apart. pretzels or crunchy pretzels? Soft, soft, soft. I'm disappointed that we didn't have to, uh, that we didn't have to. Um, smelt the, uh, <laughs> the, the metal that, <laughs> to make that, the helicopter. That helicopter and are we going to the ocean and collect our own salt? Oh, no. Nick, where are you in the soft pretzel versus crunchy pretzel? <laughs>